In a previous video, we looked at installing SigWin, which is a Unix you can run on top of Windows, and it's free and easy to install with minimal effort and gives you instant access to Unix commands for practicing purposes. So whether you're using SigWin or Linux, let's jump mm -hmm. right in and start issuing some Unix commands. In the last video, we looked at PWD, or Print Working Directory, this shows that we're located here at SIG Drive C Data Downloads, LS, or List the Directory Contents, shows us various stuff in this directory. And if we use an option to the LS command, minus F, it could distinguish files that are directories as opposed to other types of files. So in this directory, when we use the ls command with the minus f option, it pretty much lists the exact same thing, only this time it shows some of the entries as having this slash at the end. This tells us these are directories. So they're directories within the download directories as opposed to listings that do not have a slash at the end, like oldresume.doc, scan1.bmp, this is some kind of image or scan. This is an executable file. This is a web page. I know this because it ends in HTM. But the main point here is that the minus F option shows us we have quite a few directories within this downloads directory. Let's do that command again, ls-f, to get the same output above here. But this time, let's follow it up with this vertical bar above the enter key. It's called a pipe. What it does is it forwards this result so instead of putting this result to the screen, like when we just issued ls-f, it'll forward the result somewhere else. Where we're going to forward it, it's to a new Unix command called grep. Grep is, it works like a filter. It filters out what we ask it to filter out. So we're going to ask it to filter out this pattern, this slash. So. Let me explain in case you haven't caught on already. ls minus f is a directory listing, and this minus f part of it is going to show us directories that end in slashes. And then so we want this entire listing, including the one that ends in slashes such as back drivers temp, to be forwarded or piped by this command into grep, which is a filter, and then it, the grep command is going to filter out this pattern, this slash. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And here we have something slightly different. We have everything that had a slash on it display. So as, back, bucky box, cc, and p, and so on. It left out things that did not have the slash such as these doc, dot doc, dot bmp, dot exe, and so on. Now, this is interesting for several reasons. We've actually combined two Unix commands, the ls command, the grep command, along with an, a modification of the ls command. We've used the pipe construct to forward results, and we've used this pattern to search for. So we've actually used a quite a complex uh, command line construct. And I just wanted to introduce the concept of using multiple commands together in such a manner. That's it. Try it out.